Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to be talking about the differences between use state and use ref in React. So on the right hand side here I have a form that I have created with use state. So essentially the way we create a form with use state is in our code. So in our inputs what we essentially want to do is have a piece of state. So in this title input here I have a title and a set title. So if I go down into that input, the title is the value. And then we have an on change method, which says update the title. So set the title to the value here. So each time we type, essentially what is happening is we are re-rendering the component. So to demonstrate this, if I console log the title, when we type, if I go into the inspector tab here, and in my console, what I want to do is I want to start typing my hotel like so. As you can see here, the title has re-rendered the application a few times. So now what we are essentially doing is if you imagine all of these were being typed in on each individual input, we are effectively re-rendering the application quite a lot of times. And when we click this add hotel button, that's when we want to pass in the data, what is present at the time. So for example, if I fill this in with whatever it may be, we essentially want to get a snapshot of the final whatever is remaining. So 77777. So after typing in and filling out this form, we are doing the setter function. So there's quite a few of them in this form component. What we want to do essentially at the end is get this snapshot here and then send it to whatever is so in this case this will be adding a new hotel to our database so a better way or a more performant way of doing this is to use a user ref not only does it stop the re-rendering happening but it also reduces the lines of code in the application so let's go ahead and do this now so i'm just going to comment this all out in here so now i've commented out my use states what i want to do is create some refs in here so const title ref is equal to use ref but essentially what this means is title ref should be pointing at this hotel title input over here so i now need to import use ref from react which is a hook similar to use state so this title ref now needs attaching to this input here so if i go into my input where it has the title this time i don't need the on change method and i don't need the value so i can delete them and instead what i need to do is add a ref in here which is equal to the title ref like so now if i save i want to console log the title ref as well and if i refresh the page we are getting typescript errors but we will ignore them in for now so i'm just going to comment out the functionality in here and remove it so if we move this up and save what i also want to do is remove the navigate as well because we don't need that so now in here we are getting errors because the setters and the values are not in our component because we have commented them out so if i just comment out the rest of the form and just keep in the title and now if i save we now have the hotel title in here so now if i say my hotel for example and then if i click add hotel what happened there was it refreshed the page so what we want to do is prevent the default behavior so e dot prevent default and now if i save and then type in test title like so and add as you can see here now the current value is of the input is here so what we need to do is title ref dot current dot value this is what we are getting so before it was e dot target dot value so now if i save and in my console click add hotel as you can see now whatever is in the input at the time is being sent to the add new hotel function so now what i want to do is get rid of this error here so essentially what we want to do is give this ref a value of null for now so that will remove it and then when we submit we then have a value updated of current not value like so so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this and i'm going to test it outside when i type so when i type i want the value to be console logged to see if that works similar to how it was with the use state hook so if i now type hello this is a test title 
nothing is happening but when i submit the form we are now getting this is a test title so this is when it matters so therefore this is more performant because it is not re-rendering the application and also another benefit of useref is it's saying watch this input only for me and only get the value or extract the value when we need it so in this case when we add new hotel function in here and the final benefit also is it is one less line of code, which is essentially we just need to give it a reference. So a pointer saying this ref is title ref like so, whereas the other ones you need a value and we also need an on change method in here. So therefore it is much cleaner to have the use ref as opposed to the use state. And most professional companies would recommend using the use ref approach as opposed to the use state. We would only use use state when we want to re-render the application and update the component. So now what I'm going to do is update this form to use use ref and then it will reduce the number of lines of code also. Okay, so now I have changed all of my form elements to use use ref instead of use state. As you can see here, it looks much more cleaner. And then in our code as well, if I just highlight a ref, all of our inputs or select dropdowns are highlighted. And therefore we're not using one, which is the value and two, which is the on change. And we're not re-rendering the application also. So that is much more cleaner now, as you can see. And if I fill all of these in and click add hotel, this will then log all of our form element inputs in here and then log them into our add hotels function which is declared above just here we are getting some sort of type shape errors which says object is possibly null so we need to address those because we are using type strips so if i add an optional chaining in here and then another one in here like so that fixes that issue and then on value we need to declare the value of the ref so what does that mean that means that this ref here so title ref essentially this is an input so this is an html input element so i'm just going to declare that in our ref above so title ref is an input element as you can see this is an input element as well in my use ref i'm just going to add in html input element so now as you can see the typescript error has gone so now what i want to do is when i click the add hotel button in here i then want to log out all of these refs in our forms so if i just copy this and paste underneath all of the other ref and the values so now i have pasted in all of the values that will get logged in our console what i now need to do is address the typescript issues in here so description ref is going to also be a input but this one is a text area so if i go into here and hover over text area this is a text area element so on my reference here i'm just going to paste in that it is a text area element and that value has now gone and that area has gone i now need to do the same for the features ref so if i go down this one is a select element so if i copy this and we essentially on each element that we go over we essentially want to make sure it matches up with the correct html element so location element so if i go to location ref which is this one so this is a html import element like so so as you can see each time i'm declaring the html attribute that it is and then the typescript error is going away so i'll just finish up the rest and be right back okay so now i've fixed all of the typescript errors for the use ref this is how you would solve it so you just need to declare what the input element type is or the html element so now what i'm going to do is fill in the title so my title description i'm just going to name description I'm going to select swimming pool. I'm just going to put test URL in here. Give it three stars. The country is UK. Region is test. And then we're going to have three reviews. And then the price is 800. And then the price per night is 80. So now when I click add hotel, we should now get a snapshot of all of the form elements in our console. This is done by using use ref. So if I click add hotel, then so now as you can see on the right, we have all our form elements logged into the add new hotel function in here this is all done by using use ref so the benefits of using use ref is it provides a reference that you attach to it so for example this title 
I can attach a reference, so this is title ref. Above, over here, as you can see, I know this is a HTML input element. It starts off as null, and then when we click add hotel, whatever the value is in this ref, it will then update that value to whatever function we pass in. So for performance, use ref would be better. However, there are cases where we need to re-render the application also. So therefore we would use the use state hook as well. They both have their use cases in React. So it's up to you on a case by case basis on how and when to use each individual React hook. But I hope this video helped you understand the use state hook in more detail and the use ref hook in more detail please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video